Functional Flex Team FFLEX. We're here to talk about compound exercises versus isolation exercises. So, compound exercises, what is it in the first place, right? It is a movement that's going to involve many muscles at once. So, think of things like your squat. For example, when we do a squat, there's almost no muscles in your body that are not going to work if you're doing it correctly, okay? Because your bar is on your back, you're going to be holding it with your arms here. Okay, we got the back supporting it, we got the core supporting the spine, we got each part of the leg working, right? The quads, the top of your thighs, hamstrings, the back, the glutes, the, even the calves. Every part of your body is going to go to work in a squat. That's compound lift. Now think of your deadlifts, another compound lift, where we're going to have virtually every single muscle in the body working. Um, we're talking about things like dips, where now we have multiple upper body muscles working, chest, shoulder, triceps, biceps, even into the lats, pull-ups, think of pull-ups, biceps, lats, chest to some degree, shoulders, everything works here, right? Grip's going to go all on all of those. So we're looking at movements where more than one muscle group is going at a time. That's what a compound exercise is. Where we're doing exercises, multiple muscles are working. Isolation exercises are exactly how it sounds. We're isolating one muscle or one group of muscles to get a different type of a result there. So what's most important and what do you need to focus more so on? It really depends on your goal, but for the most part, compound movements are always going to be more bang for your buck than isolation movements. You need to have a quality base of muscle built and you can only do that through proper strength training in compound movements. Now what I mean by that, we take a beginner, we take somebody who's never lifted weights and uh, you tell them to go do a single arm bicep curl. They want to lose weight. Do you think that single arm bicep curl is going to pay off? Or do you think this person needs to master things like the squat and the deadlift and you know uh, dumbbell press? barbell row, things like this. Truth is, the compound movements are going to actually help you burn more calories because we've got more muscles working. They're going to shape your body a lot faster because you've got more muscles working. And they're going to get you stronger, which is going to allow you to handle more weight, which is going to shape your physique better, faster than any other types of exercises. So as a beginner, always focus on compound exercises for the most part. And now, what does the difference come into when we want to have some of this isolation and the shaping movements and things like that come into play? What are the isolation exercises even good for? They're good for really shaping your physique in general, creating muscular hypertrophy and changing the shape of what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a specific aesthetic, you've already built a good muscle base, you're already fairly strong, you're already proficient in the compound type movements, you want to shape things out more, you want to build your biceps more, you want to grow your shoulders, whatever, that's when you bring isolation stuff in. Where we're going to really focus on one muscle group and really try to target it to actually make it stronger, actually hypertrophy it, make it grow and get it better to where we want it to be. That is what isolation type movements are really for. Okay, They're literally for isolating muscle groups. And muscle. And a lot of people fuck this up. A lot of people actually don't even do these movements correctly. Think of the person that's throwing the weights up and down on a <laughs> lateral raise or rocking their curls back and forth. Those are not isolation movements if you can't isolate the muscle. So, you want to actually focus all your training on having the blend of both. Let's use one of my days for example. If I'm going to go into the gym, I'll just give you guys one muscle group. I do a complex training program. I don't want to explain right here. But if I'm just going to go do back, I might do something like where I train deadlifts, okay? Because I'm going to train my deadlift because that's going to work my back pretty damn good because I can deadlift heavy from years and years of deadlifting. So that's going to already work my back pretty well. Then I might do something like pull-ups where I'm going to be doing another type of compound movement, right? I'm actually hitting my biceps, my back, etc. Why I do this exercise. It's a lot of lats though. That's why I'm going to throw it on back there. 
then I could do something where I'm doing a single arm row because I want to shape. I want to shape the lat out. I want to bring it out. So I'm trying to get this V taper. I want to bring that. So I'm going to do that with one arm at a time because that's going to be more beneficial to me than doing a bilateral if I'm trying to shape. Okay? I can do single lateral pull downs, all this kind of stuff, where we're going to use isolation and compound movements together to get the best result. This is something that you absolutely must have in your training no matter who you are, what you're trying to do, what goal you're trying to achieve, male or female. You need to know how to do the compound movements. You need to get very, very good at them. And then you also need to have a variance of isolation type exercises you can do throughout your training programs to keep things interesting, to keep shaping muscles, to keep learning your body and what's going to work best for you. So make sure that you don't get caught doing just isolation. You ignore the big heavy lifts and uh, don't make sure... Also, the opposite, that you're actually just stuck doing the big compound exercise, but you never do the isolation. If you want the best physique, you want the best quality, you want to shape, you want to look the way you want to look, you got to do both. Coach Rat is out. <laughs>